Australian wines for us. Um, I think the biggest thing that I'm really proud about working for Hardy's is that um, I've been with them for 20 years and I've watched watch them take over, you know, the world and um, be a part of that export success. And for us, India is a big part of that right now. And, you know, the wines that we're bringing here to India is part of a, you know, a journey, I think, for a lot of consumers, especially people like you from the wine club who have enjoyed Hardy's wines and understand that there's always a quality and a consistency coming out from those wines. And um, bringing the William Hardy wines to India is a, an exciting time for us. So, I really appreciate you being here and taking the time out to come and spend an evening with us. Obviously, it's exciting to have Glenn um, as our Hardy's brand ambassador. I think there's a lot of synergies um, between Hardy's and Glenn's cricketing skills, as much as you think, well, how does that tie in? But for us, you know, um, and I'm going to put my hand up right now and say I don't know a lot about cricket, but I've um, spent a lot of time with Glenn, you know, this week and last year when we were here to introduce him to India as our Hardy's brand ambassador. And I was really blown away by, you know, listening to Glenn talk about his career. And he really is, and I see the people all over the world, whether that be Indians here in India or even in Australia that we bumped into today. Um, you know, he's a first class cricketer. He has top notch skills, but his bowling ability is like, you know, something that is amazing. Apparently, so. Um, but you know that kind of um, skill only comes from hard work and dedication and commitment, and those are the sorts of qualities that I can put hand on my heart say um, come from our winemakers in Australia who make our wines. You know the guys and the girls are you know committed and they're hard working, they're dedicated, they're passionate about what they do, and for me that's something that I'm really proud to be associated with. And, those two things, I guess, are what the synergy is between Hardy's and having someone like Glenn at the top of his game, at the top of his field, um, you know, brings those two things together. So we're really proud to be here. We appreciate your support, Subash. You've been a fantastic supporter. Um, and, you know, we follow your newsletter every time it comes out. And um, we're really proud to be associated with you here in Delhi. And, uh, you know, like, grace your glass. Here's to a fantastic evening. and. Cheers. Thank you. Uh, you know, uh, I travel overseas abroad a lot, and they, I'm known as a can I ask you a question guy. But I ask too many questions, and people don't like me, but then people love me also. I have a question for you. The question is that today we are having stamp series of wines, and they are all blend. All four of them are blend. It happens that sparkling also is a Pinot Noir and Chardonnay fruit. But tell me, the, 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 the one that we're going to launch today, uh, it's a variety of Shiraz and Chardonnay, not a blend. So what's the, what's the reason and what are you thinking about in your strategy? Sure, thank you, Subhash, because I wanted to mention that, but I forgot. Um, <laughs> I think one of the important things that sets Hardy's apart from an Australian point of view, when you talk about our competitors, which I won't name, um, but we have wineries all over Australia and that gives us the ability to source grapes from all different regions each year. So obviously when we grow grapes, we can't control the weather, you know, the soil is different, the temperature is different. And so what that gives um, our winemakers is the ability to each year really pick the best wines from the best regions. So we're not locked into a single vineyard or a single grape variety. So for a wine like Hardy's Stamp Shreds Cabernet, that means one year, you know, this, this vineyard here is going to be producing fantastic Shiraz, where in last year it was actually this vineyard here. So that gives our, our winemakers the ability to really put a jigsaw piece together each year. That does that is actually a house style for honey. So that doesn't just happen at stamps, that happens across all of our ranges. So William Hardy was a brand or a label that we created to celebrate Bill Hardy's 40th year anniversary for the company. And Bill's a very humble man and he has, yeah, and he didn't want a big fancy label and a big fancy wine and nothing. He just wanted a wine that represented him, which was like a wine that you could bring out at a special occasion at home with your family at a restaurant. And, and he wanted it to be South Australian. For him, that was really important. He's a South Australian man. His family's from South Australia. So right now, the wines that we've launched here in India are a limestone post Chardonnay and a Langhorn Creek Shiraz. But you know, hey, if next year we have a buzzing 
wherever, we can change that. So we don't lock ourselves into anything in particular, especially, in fact, with all of the Hardy's wines. And so that's the quality and the consistency that you're going to get from, your, from this brand. And that's what we're really proud of. And um, yeah, and I think the other thing to remember too with Hardy's is our winemaker, our house style, I would say for Hardy's is elegance. So no matter what wine you try from whichever region, from whichever brand, whichever tier, you're going to get elegance with Hardy's. And I think that, you know, that's why I enjoy them. I'm probably a little bit uh, biased, but hey. That's well, honestly how I feel, so I hope that answers. And you probably had a couple of glasses of uh, sparkling oh, wine. Of <laughs>